so here we are uh, just like you guys starting out the ones that are uh, literally just starting in the hobby going to set up the little 10 meter CRT 9900 down there just with a very very basic amount of equipment including a very old you see that fire stick mag mount <laughs> back from the day back from 1982 and we're just going to use a tank whip that's all I've got just a tank whip and that's just going to be stuck outside on a, uh, a metal container not even on a car and that's all I've got so really right back to basics so just using the tank whip antenna now there's absolutely nothing complicated about a tank whip antenna it literally is a stainless steel rod there going up to a uh, little grub screw with another little joint at the top and then a normal steel whip that you would get most likely on a uh, sort of mag mount antenna no uh, coil no base coil loading so uh, I think it stands about seven foot when it's up it's probably something you'd not want to drive about with uh, on your car and if you did you'd need a bigger mag mount than that but yeah nothing nothing spectacular about a uh, tank whip yeah it is what it is works well on on so DX. on these uh, tank whips the way you adjust the SWR is you've got a very very small little uh, grub screw there and then you just simply lengthen or shorten the whip the, uh, on top there as it uh, as it goes up and hopefully um, you know you can bring it down you don't generally get a fantastic SWR on these tank whips it depends on the amount of ground plane that uh, you've got they do require a lot of ground plane as they've got no kind of windings at the bottom so all I've got to use is this uh, great big metal uh, gas bottle container so uh, yeah I'm probably going to struggle to get it below 1.5 but uh, yeah 1.5 would be okay I can always use the matcher anyway. so this is my uh, typical little holiday setup nothing particularly spectacular I've got the uh, Satagi there the TM999 SWR meter <coughs> excuse me and uh, also has a uh, tune matcher as well in case I'm unable to get a good SWR from that tank whip it depends on the location it can be a little bit difficult to tune in there's not a great deal of adjustment but uh, at the present on channel one there we've got about a quite a high swath of SWR two and a half and if I go up to 40 SWR high so uh, yeah we just need to see if we, we can adjust that in if not I can uh, tune it in with a little matcher yeah 1.4 so about 1.4 to 1.6 so I could play about with that keep going out there and uh, but it's probably more likely to be lack of ground plane so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a one-to-one -one SWR by just using the matcher so this is what I think might be causing the problem. They're fitted in this new wireless closed circuit television. It's always had closed circuit television, but it's uh, got this new wireless thing here. And they've got these now all the way throughout the, uh, the site, which is good. Which is good, of course, but I reckon all that is causing interference and uh, unfortunately right across the bands especially on the triple five which is a real pain and it might prevent me from uh, bringing a radio down here got another birdie there on uh, channel three Quite a low noise actually, that's good. Another birdie on 22, that's, that'll be that CCTV installation. Got to avoid those channels. Another birdie on 29. Not yet another birdie, 35. And then back around the clock. So a good place to start is always on the 27555 
which is kind of an unofficial uh, calling channel really and even if the bands are closed which they appear to be today if you have a good listen you might hear something so there was a station way way in the back of the box there but um, not even moving the signal meter there so no uh, no point in trying to talk call out for that one so it seems that the bands are pretty pretty closed really there's some Italian coming in So, you know, even if you had a flick around and there's no one on, well, it doesn't hurt to give a shout out on the break-in channel. It depends where you are. You know, I'm down sort of uh, on the coast near Frinton, and I'm not sure if they used the 19 around here. Obviously, at home, the 19 is quite busy, but it's always worth a shout to see. You never know who's listening. Yeah, breaker on the 19. Yeah, mobile station. Yeah, mobile station in Wheelie. Anyone out there? Mobile breaker, static mobile in Wheelie, giving a shout out. Any breakers out in the 19? Uh, yeah, good afternoon, mate. It's uh, you've got Fred in the shed here in uh, Wheelie. It's fun in Wheelie. Come on in. You just about breaking the squelch. Ah, <laughs> sorry there, buddy. Yeah, you got Fred in the shed in Wheelie. I'm static mobile at Wheelie Station. Oh, we got Fred in the shed. That's a good one, isn't it? Hello, <laughs> Sean. Sorry, you got Fred in the shed. In the Uh, no, we're at the moment. I'm just literally waiting at the station to pick someone up, so I switched on the rig and I could hear you guys. Uh, you give me about S3 Radio 4, nice signal. Uh, whereabouts is your QTH? I can barely hear you. Your moderation is very quiet. Can you sort of get close to your microphone? Oh, yeah, roger that. Yeah, I'm in a bit of a dip at the moment. I'm down by the station. I'm just waiting at the station. Like I said, whereabouts is your location? Where's your 20, your QTH? Over. That's right, I can't barely hear uh, John, can you, can you hear him? Yes, sir, Dwayne. He's, um, Dwayne is situated in, um, Frinton, in, yeah, Frinton, near Frinton. Oh, Roger, that's, uh, that's about six or seven miles, I think, from here. Yeah, yeah, I'm mobile, so uh, I've just got a small antenna, so, yeah, I won't be doing so quite so well. So, um, is, is that John, your personal there? Yeah, my personal's John, yeah, and yours? It's Fred, Fred. Well done, Fred. Yeah, OK, mate, um... Dwayne can't quite, you're in the back of his box. Oh, roger that. So, did you mention a caravan? Did you say you were in a caravan then, John? I certainly am, yes. Oh, nice one. So, whereabouts are you? Belmont. Oh, roger. I don't know the local area. Uh, whereabouts is that compared to Frinton? Uh, uh, a, few, a few miles uh, north of the new. You're to my right, and Frinton's to my left. Oh, Roger. Well, you're coming in really nice. You're giving me about S5, F6, um, Radio 5 there, John. Lovely signal. I was listening to the other guy. I couldn't quite get out to him, and I said, that's when I heard you, and I thought I'd give you a try. I'll use the guy who was shouting uh, on the side to uh, Dwayne, won't you? He, he got his squelch up. He couldn't hear you. 
Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I thought that. Yeah, I figured he was chatting to his mate there, so I was just sitting there listening. So you came on and you were sort of giving me a much stronger signal. So uh, oh, anyway, yeah, all nice to make contact. I mean, what's the... Because um, I'm not local. I'm down here on holiday. So um, what's the CB situation like down here? Have you got many people on these days? Well, there was last time I was down here. I come down um, uh, once every two months or something like that. Uh, for a fortnight, and there was loads on last time I come, but they're all gone over to the other channels now, getting the license, if you understand that, and uh, they're leaving this one behind. <laughs> Oh, Roger, yeah, I understand. Yeah, well, that's a good thing in a way, isn't it, I suppose, if they're moving on up to sideband and things like that. And, uh, well, it's nice to hear that, you know, um, the sort of CB still sort of going round here. I was listening on the 1-9, but I didn't sort of pick anyone up um, coming over. I think there's a few breakers around the Colchester area. Yeah, that's what amazes me. 1-9 was dead. <laughs> around my area, uh, which is Lake Neath, um, between Milton Hall and Brandon, if you know where that is, um, I'll go home tomorrow. Oh, Roger. Nice one. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm from St Albans, which is like Hertfordshire. Um, it's about 13 miles outside London. And it's been picking up CB round our way. You know, I went come on about two years ago, come, uh, come back on, and it's been very quiet. But it got a nice little group going now. But it's sort of starting to pick up, so uh, maybe that's countrywide. Yeah, I think it's the same all the way around. Apart from here and there, dying off around here. Um... Ipswich is not too bad, they've got the groups in Ipswich, but I'm afraid uh, they're dying off a bit around here. Well, it's good to hear people coming back on. You know, a lot of people like me, sort of, you know, slightly older, did it in the day. You know, we're sort of coming back on, and because uh, the radios, you know, are so well, a bit more powerful nowadays, aren't they? And uh, a little bit sort of cheaper compared to what they were. Yeah, Roger D. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, well, I'm just in at the moment, so uh, I'll cut you loose. And um, thanks for coming in and uh, chatting to us. Yeah, cheers, John. Yeah, thanks for thanks for letting me in. Well, I'm down, sort of staying this way for a couple of days, so uh, I'll be gone at the weekend. But I'll sort of flick about when I get a chance, and I might catch you again there, John. But uh, yeah, thanks for letting me in, fella. And uh, yeah, have a pleasant evening, and I hope to catch you again soon, there, mate. Okay, David. You must probably catch Dwayne. He's usually on the thirty-one. They use the thirty-one or thirty-two and channel forty as well. At night.